hi guys welcome back to my channel today i am going to be making you some sorrel some jamaican sorrel made my way of course so in my sorrel i'm going to be using some fresh lime squeeze and this is not for now this is when i'm drawing it when i'm sweetening it tomorrow so when i sweeten it tomorrow morning so normally you boil your sorrel and then leave it in the pot overnight and that makes it draw we would say draw and then that gives it the nice rich consistency or the color so i'm going to squeeze some lime tomorrow when i'm sweetening like i said to put inside of it in my bowl right here i've got some ginger that has been washed and guys you don't need to peel your ginger all you need to do is give your ginger a nice good wash yeah and i'm gonna blend these up yeah and pour this in with my sorrel i've got my cinnamon sticks i've got some cinnamon sticks i'm not using all of this and i've got my sorrel right here sorrel guys is also known as hibiscus flower yeah so the hibiscus flower is what is sorrel yeah but in jamaica we just say sorrel so i've got five bags of these in my bowl right here i've got orange peel and this is two orange peels and this size is optional you don't have to put this if you don't want to also the lemon the lime sorry the lime lime juice is optional as well but it's nice and refreshing when you put some lime juice in it normally the original sorrel all you need is just your ginger your sorrel and your white rum guys ray and his nephew guys jamaican foolproof or overproof rum yeah and then i've got some red label wine as well some jamaican red label wine and these as well guys are optional say you're a person that don't drink alcohol you don't have to put these you don't have to put the red label wine and you don't have to put the white rum so if you're a person that don't drink alcohol you can exclude these but also it's festive for the season guys and you're not really a drinker like myself i don't really drink but when it's christmas i don't mind having my sorrel and you put a little bit of rum not too much and some red label wine or any wine of your choice guys or any rum of your choice but because it's a jamaican drink and Ray and Nephew is known for the Jamaican white rum, alcohol wise, and the red label wine as well. So I'll be using it and making it that way, guys. Remember, guys, I'm making it my way. If that's not the way that you make it, that's totally fine. But that's the way that I am going to make it. So stay tuned, guys, for the next step. Please give the video a like. Thank you for watching also guys i forgot to mention normally you would use the fresh sorrel but i couldn't get any fresh sorrel so it's also okay to use the packaged one but what i like to do i like to give them a little wash first or a little rinse because sometimes you know a little bit of dirt or stuff might might have gotten inside inside of the packaging so i'm gonna put them in my bowl and i'm going to give them a little bit of a rinse off just to get rid of any excess debris or anything that might be inside the soil yeah i'll be right back you see that guys this is the reason why i wash my soil some people might say why are you washing it you're washing away the color but if you look in my sink you can see lots of debris straws dirt if you look at the bottom of the sink right there so the sorrel is a bit dirty guys and it's just the process that they use to dry the sorrel when they're drying it so that's why i rinse my sorrel off instead of just putting it in my pot and drawing it straight away yeah so rinse your sorrel off also guys it's okay to use it's better actually to use the fresh sorrel but like i said i couldn't get any fresh sorrel so i had to make do and just get the ones in the package because the one the fresh ones would be easier to wash but anywho 
that's it and that's the reason why i said what's your sorrow stay tuned please give the video a like thank you so guys i'm at the stage now where i'm gonna grate my ginger i was gonna blend them but i'm just gonna grate them on the fine side of the grater so i'm just gonna grate it before i put it in my sorrel so i'm gonna grate all my ginger and then i'll come back and show you the next step stay tuned okay guys so that's my ginger i'm putting it into my pot here all my ginger just a second in my pot of boiling water so that's my ginger boiling like i said and to that i'm going to be adding my orange peel here that's my orange peel i'm also going to be adding in my cinnamon stick so actually because it's a very huge pot that I'm making, I'm going to put in two more cinnamon sticks. So I'm going to just add that in. And then to my pot, I'm adding some cinnamon leaves straight out of JA, Jamaica that is. So this guys, I'm going to leave that to boil for probably about five minutes just for the ginger to infuse in the water properly and the orange peel and the cinnamon just for all of that to infuse after that infuses guys i'm going to be adding in my washed sorrel and i'm going to add my sorrel in and i'm going to i'm not going to let my sorrel boil guys you don't need to boil the sorrel so as long as this has been boiled already all you do you put the sorrel in and then you turn off your stove guys cover your pot with the lid and leave it to steep or draw until tomorrow guys yeah so please give the video a like thank you for watching and remember as i said guys the orange peel is optional also the cinnamon leaves are optional but i find that you don't have to stick to tradition and make stuff the only traditional way that you grew up knowing you can add your little twist or your little your little flavor to it you know but not strain too far from the original recipe so that's my ginger boiling my orange peel two orange peels from two oranges my cinnamon stick and my cinnamon leaves as well yes i'm gonna let that boil for five minutes and then i'm gonna come back put my sorrel in and turn off my stove but i'll come back and show you that step thank you for watching guys please give the video a like thank you okay so i'm pouring in my sorrel guys so that's my sorrel that's what my sorrel is looking like nice and purple or red dark red so that's it and i've turned off my stove and i'm gonna cover this and leave it to steep or draw until tomorrow guys see how it's looking it's already looking nice and rich but it will even be richer like a deep red a ruby red tomorrow guys stay tuned thank you for watching guys it's now the day after the day and this is my pot with my sorrel and it's been drawn or steeped from overnight yeah in a second let me get a spoon so you can see what it's looking like so I'm back with my ladle and if you can see it's next to purple guys and this is the original way of making your sorrow so you normally draw it from overnight yes and then leave it steep properly or draw properly so I'm going to strain this off now and then I'm going to come back show you how I sweeten my soil. Stay tuned. Please give the video a like. Thank you. Oh, by the way, I should have shown you the sorrel itself, how it's looking. So that's the sorrel pieces with all the loveliness of the orange and the cinnamon sticks and the cinnamon leaves. That's how it's looking nice and rich i'm going to strain this off and then i'll come back and show you stay tuned okay my good people this is my
my sorrel drink. All done. Look at it, guys. You see how it looks purple? Dark red to purple. That's how you want your sorrel drink to look. Your authentic Jamaican sorrel drink. Made by yours truly. Good vibes, cake. Repping for my country, Jamaica. The best way I know how. Yep. I make a lot of things that's non Jamaican, but when I'm making Jamaican stuff, I take pride in it because I'm a Jamaican to the bone. There it is, guys. My rich ruby red sorrel drink. And I'm going to be sweetening with some red label wine. I've got some other rich red rum wine, sorry. And of course, it wouldn't be Jamaican authentic surreal without Mr. Ray and his nephew. Yeah, overproof white rum, Jamaican rum. Yeah, if you don't drink, you can have your surreal without all of that. But it wouldn't be authentic Jamaican surreal rum, like I said, surreal drink without your Jamaican overproof Mr. Ray and his nephew and Mr. Red Label wine over here and the other wine is just because why not so that's it I'm gonna be bottling it up now and I've got some for some non-alcoholic drinkers so I'm gonna do that first and then I'm gonna add my alcohol and I've also added some sugar guys to taste and also my lemon if you watched the earlier part of the video you would have seen me showing all the ingredients that I was going to be using so this is how you make your sorrel drink guys the Jamaican authentic sorrel drink it's not just Jamaicans that drink sorrel drink by the way other Caribbean islands or probably a different part of the world drink it and might I add sorrel drink is the hibiscus flower yeah so it's made from hibiscus flour but we don't call it hibiscus flour even though that's what it is we call it sorrel yeah and i hope you enjoy seeing me making you this lovely drink enjoy guys and please let me know what you think about me making this drink in the comment section and if there's anything else that you'd like to see me make you can make suggestions guys 